Hey guys, Country Girl 555 here, Tina. <laughs> um, I weighed in on Thursday and I had a, a minus 0.2. So I sort of kind of just counted out as the same, same weigh in as last week. Thursday's weigh in of uh, 271. Um, my back has been out for several days. I've not been able to do much. I uh, tried to do some, several things today. I've just come from the gym um, that was made free to me, um, courtesy of the people who own the establishment. She knows how much weight I've lost and has my struggles and everything. I may have been repeating myself, but I'll up to date you guys. So she gave me my own key to go into the gym, and the gym's three pieces of equipment. It's elliptical, a um, very, very, very nice treadmill, and a Bowflex. Um, as I said, my back's been out for several days now, and I've, I've not been able to do anything. I haven't. Um, today, I luckily received my medication, and it's taken the edge off, so I'm up and about trying to do things, not doing too much. First of all, I lay on the floor approximately two hours this morning doing stretches. Um, I lay on my back and put my hands underneath my bum, and I lift my behind off the floor, crisscross my legs, and pull my knees into my stomach. Um, this is a lower abdominal crunch. Um, people with lower back pain, uh, if you've had any experience with uh, physical therapy, they tell you that this is a great exercise, along with uh, several other, the cobra uh, stance, uh, like yoga, um, the cat curl, where you curl up on your back. Uh, and then just bowing down um, and stretching your back out full through your spine. So I am able, and I've been practicing um, those uh, lower abdominal crunches for quite some time. I'm able to do three repetitions of those, 50 of them at a time. Um, trust me, I've been trying to build up to this for a year. Um, and it's just now got to where, uh, whew, guys, <laughs> um, got to where I can do the full three reps at 50 at a time. Um, also, I do uh, put my hands underneath the lower part of my bum so that I know every lift up that my behind is coming up off the floor. And so that crunch happens in between there in your core. Um, it's a really, if you've got a lot of lower uh, stomach fat, in which I do, um, all my research shows that lifting, crossing your legs, lifting your legs into your chest um, will help burn the lower ab abdominal fat and build muscle down there. So that's what I've been doing this week when I could. Today was the first time that I was actually able to actually physically do them this week because my back's been out. I was also able to hold the plank stance for 47 seconds um, today. Um, I did one regular normal push-up. I then did a, a worm crawl push-up, which if you don't know what that is, um, you stand up, bend over, touch your toes. You walk your hands all the way out until you are into a um, sort of a plank. Make sure you lower your bottom. And you do a push-up from there down for a count of uh, whatever and hold. Go back up. Then you can either walk your hands back to your feet and go back up and curl up. Or you can walk your feet up to your hands and it's kind of an inchworm uh, push-up. I did two of those just to see if I could do those and I did three sets of five uh, knee push-ups. Five, five knee push-ups times three. So I did a total of 15 of that. Um, 
I would have liked to have gotten more of the regular push-ups, but one was honestly all I could do. And the two of the other push-ups that I found really cool did really stretch my back. It really, really did stretch my back. I found it really, really cool um, exercise. Uh, and so I think I'll try to practice it a little bit more. Um, couldn't do the jumping jacks this week. I tried. Zero was submitted. No jumping jacks like that. Um, I couldn't do the, the uh, lifted raised leg sit-ups um, this week, but I was able to do them today. So I, I did 12 of those. Um, what else? Okay, I've just come back from the gym. Um, I had a two-minute warm-up on the treadmill. I then had a 20-minute interval um, where the speed starts out at two, the incline at two, goes up to three, goes to three and a half, up with the incline as well, up to four, and then it goes down, and it's a fat burner, right? Cardio, high cardio fat burner, and that's why I was sweating so dear much. <laughs> I um, went 1.3 miles in 18 minutes and 36 seconds. I think that was amazing. Um, because my back is in such excruciating pain. Yes, I've taken my pain medicine today. I know better than to overdo it. That's why I stopped at the one mile. Um, and I think that's fantastic that I did the one mile in 18 minutes and 36 seconds. Um, I guess that's been my personal best for the basically two weeks now. Um, this week I've not exercised much at all. Hence, I only lost two ounces, so that means I basically stayed the same. Eating, um, not so good, didn't have the foods I needed in the house, so basically I've been eating prepared meals, preservatives in it, salt, sodium, uh, the artificial this and that, and then those Marie Calendar meals. They come out to be anywhere from 9 points to 13 points on Weight Watcher plans. They're anywhere from 350 to 420 calories. Um, one of them, I believe, was a 320 calorie one. I've had those. I've had English muffins. Um, I've had eggs. I've had a little bit of bacon. I've had chicken. I've had green beans. I've had peas. I have had turnip greens. I've had spinach. Um, so I can... I I'll ha I have also had Doritos and um, Oreo cookies, and I've had skim milk finally, and um, I shouldn't have had those things. Um, I would have had a better weight loss, but sometimes you do what you got to do, and that's what I've done. <laughs> I'm really pushing the black coffee because it's still helping uh, keep my lungs open. Um and just trying to get over this back, excruciating back pain. And I'm doing very well. This evening, a little bit better. It's about 2 o'clock in the, in the day on Saturday now. And like I said, I've just come back in for my walk. I had the walk to the gym, um, and then the walk in the gym, and the bike and everything. And I'll be going up later tonight when, the, when it cools down outside for my elliptical right. So, um, I, f I really, really was amazed that I did the challenge today because I felt like I left the team down all week long with me, my back out and me not being able to do the challenge. Even yesterday's challenge of walking a half a mile. Now, I honestly, I did walk a half a mile, but it took me all day to do it because my walking space is like, I don't know if you ever watched the Carabinet show. Um, Mr. Tudball on there where he's like his feet go like really 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 slow well that's how I was walking <laughs> and thank the Lord I am walking so much better today and doing that 1.3 mile in 18 minutes and 36 seconds was um, it was nice because you get down on yourself when you're unable to do the things that you know you should be doing. 
um, and then you make bad choices on eating and different things like that. So it's a really good mindset to me to know that I can pick back up when I feel better and go on with what I'm doing. And those are just things that's been instilled in me with over the past two years of this journey that um, I don't quit. I keep trying. And um, that's all that you can do is keep trying. Um, every day, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Um, whatever it is that you can do. We're not all perfect. We cannot all do the same regiment every single day. Diana, you are one amazing woman. You are a friggin' brick shit house lady. And you worked for that body. You worked so hard for that body. And I will get what I want. I will. People like you who inspire so wonderfully, so amazingly, and you touch the hearts of people who have been where you are and struggling. We all know what's going on. Um, we know how we slip, we know how we fall, we know how to get back up, we know how to move on, we know how to press forward, we know how to put those positive people in our lives and positive changes and everything, and we know how to work with that. And then the converting back is, in my opinion, that little bit of the old Tina who keeps saying, you know, your food addiction this, your food addiction this, your food addiction. Well, honestly, guys, I... I've pretty much beat my food addiction. I honestly feel that I have beat it. I have found a way to beat it. Um, as long as I can stay focused, knowing what's most important, and that is, honestly, it's my health and the way I feel. Um, some days are worse than the others. Some days are better than others. You You know... It happens. It really does. It's life. So you have to pick up from that rubble and you have to move forward. And the, and the best way to do that is to surround yourself with as much positive outlook on everything as you, as you can. I am so blessed to have that in my life. My husband is like a ray of sunshine. He can be optimistic and he can be so very pessimistic. But all in all, he normally knows the right things to say to make you think on your own and, and, and help you realize, you know. I received a package from him today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, and then it was a, a, a shape up, shape up um, a protein bar, a caramel crisp shape up protein bar it's a, a yogurt nougat bar um that i got on sale over there and they last they got a long shelf life so he kind of snuck one in his little box he sent me <laughs> so i kind of read behind the lines and this and that so i got your message <laughs> and i love you <laughs> all right um I think that's going to be all of my update this week. I will try to report more. Hopefully my back will be... Guys, you know when my back goes down, I can very seldom function, okay? And I've been completely out of medication for over two and a half weeks. And, uh, wow. <laughs> Talk about mega, mega, mega pain. Um, but I, I am feeling a little bit better today. Been able to do all those stretches been able to move a little bit better. Luckily, uh, being able to do that mile made me feel better. better. My legs feel like jello right now. And trust me, I got my sweat on. But I do feel better. So the next thing is to see if I can get some healthy veggies and fruit in here so I can make my drinks and uh, my smoothies and see how I can go from there. Um, because I've got to flush my system of all the those those dinners I ate this past week. I mean, I can really tell. They bloat you up. The salt in those things is, is ridiculous. And even though they're small and they look healthy, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. The fresh food is the way to go. It is. All right, guys. That is my update for this week. <laughs> First week in May. Um, happy Cinco de Mayo today, the 5th of May. 
Tomorrow is my daughter Jennifer's birthday. She'll be 24. Tonight they're going to see the Eric Church uh, concert downtown Nashville. And she's so excited about that. So, um, as I said, happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Take care, guys. Peace out. That's how we roll. God bless you all. God bless. Ta-da. That means bye.